Hey guys, it's Deneen here and I wanted to just pop on here to talk with you a little bit about why I decided to add this particular story into my December daily. Um, I know that we all have hard stories. I know that um, we sometimes tell them, we sometimes don't tell them. Um, some of us keep our stories very close to our heart and we don't like to share them with anyone at any time. Um, I share my hard stories. I always have. It's it's important to me to do that for myself because I feel like it's it's completing my story. It is making my story complete. And one day um, I could look back on them and say, hey, you know what? I made it through that. You know, I felt really horrible at that time, but I was able to make it through. And so I was thinking about that and I kind of struggled a little bit with whether or not that kind of story belonged in my December daily. Does it belong there? Should I put it there? And I went back and forth. Um, my story is something that happened in November, so it it's actually not a December story. Um, so I could totally leave it out, but it's affecting my December. It's going to be something that is going to affect the journaling that I do for a lot of my stories going forward um, through the rest of December daily. This is only my seventh story, so I have 18 left to go, and many of them will have journaling that will reflect this particular situation in my life. So um, I've decided that adding it into December daily is what works for me. Um, with that being said, you don't have to add anything into your December daily that you don't want to. Um, put some thought into it. If it doesn't fit your vibe, if it doesn't fit where you're going with your storytelling, then don't put it in. Um, you can always add it later. You could always not add it at all. Um, I know a lot of us number our stories, so we're going from 1 through 25, um, but you know, hey, it could be Story 7 2.0. Um, it could be anything you want it to be. And and so that's something that I wanted to share with you guys because I struggle myself with making decisions about what stories to tell and where they belong. And my decision for this story um, is I'm comfortable with it, I'm happy with it, and um, I probably didn't even need to do a process video for this because it's kind of simple. Um, but I wanted to just get it out there that you could put a simple page in, you could put some journaling in, you could put nothing in, you could put a photo that just when you look at it, it represents that hard story to you and you'll know exactly what that represents when you look at it. Um, if you're not worried about other people understanding it, um, then that's, you know, that's your thing. That's what you're going to do. So that's just the message I wanted to share with you guys. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, you're also going to see in my video coming up that um, best laid plans, right? Um, the original plan that I had for this page um, didn't come to fruition because there was a little kink in the vellum that I was going to use. And so I just kind of... Um, Figured it out, right? FIO, figure it out. And that's what I did. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your December. And uh, I know a lot of us are going through hard things. Whatever they are, um, it is a chapter. And whether you include that chapter or not is completely up to you. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel bad. Um, you know, you do what is best for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started with my short process video today. We'll see you in a couple seconds, guys. Okay guys, so I am going to be doing a page of a hard story and here are my words that I typed up on a piece of cardstock. It's about five and a half by seven inches and this is going to go back to back with that. This is the postcard four by six from the Paisley Press Mini Kit and I just kind of added Allie's word art from the prep day and a real stamp. So those are going to go inside of this pocket, which was originally not going to be a pocket. It was going to be a base page until I saw that the corner was bent. And maybe that wouldn't bother others, but it kind of bothered me. So my whole plan changed and I decided that I was going to go ahead and cut this on a diagonal. So you'll see here that I am going to grab a ruler and I am going to draw a very fine pencil line across diagonally um, so that part of the Y 
is showing and the line is going to kind of match up with the um, I guess the slant of the Y. So let's get a pencil here and again this is super simple just kind of lining it up and drawing a very light pencil mark on there in order to remove the part of the page that is kinked. So we'll do that and then I'll go ahead and I will get my trimmer and I'm just going to run this page through my trimmer and cut right along that line there. So after I get done trimming, I'm going to pull out uh, another piece of paper that has joy on it horizontally. And so a lot of people might think, geez, that's too much, but I don't know, kind of like the way it looks and I went with it. Um, I'll pull out my trimmer here super quick because I could still see a little bit of the pencil mark on there. And so I just kind of shave off a little itty bitty teeny weeny bit. And so this is going to go on top of here and I'm going to do that by uh, using my sewing machine. I think I have a little bit of red thread in my machine at this time. So I'll go ahead and sew that up on the sides, leaving that open. Here I have uh, vinyl, gold vinyl that I printed out on my cutting machine. I'm going to add that on there with transfer tape, press it down nicely and then pull it up. And that's gonna be, um, uh, I guess a home for another piece, which is a piece from the Let Go story kit that I digitally changed in um, Photoshop Elements. I'm going to use some foam adhesive to put that on top as well. And then to give this a little bit of extra on the top, I'm going to add a little tiny gold star, which by the way, I will remove later. So let's put these back to back. It's going to slide into the pocket like this. And in order to make sure it doesn't keep moving into the pocket, um, I'm going to end up putting a small piece of adhesive underneath that J. But first I'm going to get a tab, so I kind of fiddle around with the different reds. Um, they are different from one year to the next, so this year's red, I believe, was a little bit more of a match. And I'll put that little tab on there and use my tidy attacher. And then here is where I'm going to get just a tiny piece of score tape and I am just going to put it under the J so that this sticks very nicely in there. And that's it. Super, super duper simple, but fun and enjoyable and it gets my story told. So here's the finished product in my album and you can see that I moved the star to underneath the phrase and I put the number seven in a gold puffy sticker on top. And again, um, not everybody's going to put hard stories in their albums. Um, it was a part of my story and I felt like this is where it belonged. I did not add any photos, just the words. And, and that's enough, right? That's enough for me to have in there for right now. I could tell a larger story later if I feel like I need to. And here's a close-up of that little embellishment that I created. And then you will see here, this is the letter that slides into the pocket. And if you are interested, you can see the journaling that I wrote on the other side. This was super quick and super simple. And like I said, I don't think it necessarily needed a process video, but I just wanted to share this with you guys for those of you that might be having some hard times, just to think about uh, your options for those stories within your December daily. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm always here and ready to answer and help out in any way that I can. And I will see you guys in my next video.